Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? One calls it the floating toting device. Huh. She seems pretty proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... Ah, uh, never mind. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Not that Paimon was peeking or anything, she just, uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out! Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. All Paimon say is that Shenyun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? I bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself. When it comes to an elder, right? <laughs> <laughs> 